In this video, we're going to be answering the big question. Is the populaly a novelty or is it the future of learning? Hi guys, this is Andrew with rockclass101.com. And before we kick into this review, I wanna point out that if you're watching this video in March of 2018, you have a chance to win this ukulele. So click this link to find out a little bit more on how you can do that. So we just heard the ukulele in action. So instead of me giving you an overview of what I think the tone sounds like, I wanna know what you think. So I don't wanna influence you. Write a comment below, let me know how you think the tone is. Do you dig it, do you not dig it? But one thing I wanna point out about the tone is that this ukulele is a laminate ukulele. Now generally, cheaper ukuleles are made from laminate, but this isn't a cheap ukulele. This ukulele retails for $159 just for the ukulele, or you can get the ukulele with the accessories for 30 bucks more, coming in at 189. So go into this ukulele knowing that you are paying for the technology and the app. So let's cover that accessories pack real quick. As you can see in the picture, I'll put it, I think, right here. It comes with quite a few things, a carrying bag, a capo, a couple picks, comes with two picks, and an extra set of strings. Now, it comes equipped with Aquila strings, so that's cool. It's kind of an industry standard at this point. Most ukuleles are equipped with those. Now, I do wanna go ahead and point out that my first impression of the package and the ukulele and the app is that it's built to a very high standard. It's very apparent to me that Popu Band, the company that makes Populaly, really cares about their product because everything is high quality. So if we take a look at the bag, which kind of looks like the little character from the app, it's kind of cute. You know, it's, it's very nice, it's a very high quality. Um, the one thing that's kind of odd about this is that it's not really a gig bag, it's actually a bag. The, Top of the ukulele will stick out of it. Now as far as the ukulele itself, it's a concert size. I think it looks cool. You know, it's very unique with this two-tone coloring. Uh, there's not any other ukulele I can think of on the market that looks like it, so it's got its own unique style. And I actually dig it, you know? So many ukuleles look very similar to me, so it's neat to see something stand out. Now as far as build quality, this ukulele looks very well made. It's very sturdy and the craftsmanship looks great to me. But there is a couple things that I do not like about it. So let's dive into that. First off, the action is a bit too high and actually more quite too high, not a bit too high. So you, if you're new to ukulele or stringed instruments, that means that the string height is too high. It needs to come down. You can see how I pushed down. So this is actually a point that another person who did a review on this ukulele on YouTube made. He said that the action was too high and you know what he did? He actually lowered the action. Now the problem is that if you lower the action, you could create a buzz on the fretboard. So when you play notes, you'll hear bzzz instead of a clear tone for the pitch. So that's something, you know, we always have to worry about. So uh, having a high action means that it's more difficult to play. You know, you have to push harder and it makes, you know, hard, more complex things more difficult to do. Like if you do full on bar chords, you have to push really hard. So it, it's not a good thing to have an instrument with a high action. Now the other thing that I noticed too is that the actual frets are 
too big. They are like a jumbo size. They remind me of a guitar fretboard more so than an ukulele fretboard. So again, this is a playing issue. So when you're doing something like a slide up the neck, you can really feel every fret as you're sliding up and down the neck, which isn't the greatest thing for an ukulele. They're just a bit too big in my opinion. So let's talk about the actual fretboard now. As you can see, I have it set so it's illuminated and it looks really cool, right? But let's take a look at the anatomy of this ukulele. In this picture, we can see that the fretboard, which houses 72 LEDs, is made from plastic. Now this is probably the material that they had to use in order to make the fretboard illuminate. But you see that creates a problem because playing on a plastic fretboard feels very unnatural. You see, when you play on a traditional fretboard made from wood, such as rosewood, maple, or ebony, it allows the natural secretion of oils in our fingertips to be absorbed by the wood, which allows us in turn to glide up and down the neck with ease. With plastic, the material of plastic disallows this. So again, it just makes playing more difficult. So let's jump into talking about what this ukulele is made for, which is a tool to help you learn to play. So the Populele comes with an app, and the Populele itself connects to the app via Bluetooth. Now the app is going to use your device's microphone to listen to your playing. So you could use a tablet or a smartphone to run the app. Now the main menu contains five categories, but there's gonna be three primary ones that we're gonna be covering. So let's take a look at the first one, which is going to be tools. Here is where you're gonna be able to find the tuner and a chord diagram library, as well as a couple other fun little tidbits. Next, let's take a look at game. This is going to be the main learning platform. So this is where you will start. So before we jump into the game, let's go ahead and take a look at the very last category. Now that last category is going to be Song Library. So this is where you're going to be able to strum along to instrumental versions of popular songs. So let's kick it back to game. And as the name implies, this is where you will be playing an interactive game that begins by teaching you the fundamentals, such as learning how to hold the ukulele, and learning your first chords, all the way through learning to strum simple chord patterns alongside popular beginner songs like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Let's go ahead and take a look at going down the road. You can see that each level contains three sublevels. So in the first sublevel, you're going to be learning three chords, which are A minor, C, and F. In the second sublevel, you're going to be practicing strumming those three chords. And in the final level, you have a performance song. So you're going to be applying those three chords to a tune. So let's go ahead and take a look at what going down the road looks like. So my overall take from the app and playing along with it is that I can see how it could be a lot of fun for a young child. You see, the greatest thing about this ukulele is that it makes learning interactive and fun. And that is the single greatest factor for a young child, 12 and under, between them choosing to practice or not to practice. And the Populele accomplishes this by getting you up and going super fast. You can pick it up for the first time and play your first tune in 15 minutes. That's just really, really cool. So there's a couple other cons that I want to bring to your attention. And I want to preface that by saying, if you decide to purchase this ukulele, go into it knowing that you're an early adopter of new technology. So you have to understand that not everything is going to be perfect or fully developed off the bat. For example, other reviewers have noted that it can be difficult to see the fretboard illuminated while you are playing 
As you can see, my vantage point, I can't see the fretboard if I'm playing in proper holding position. I would have to break that to take a look at the fretboard. I've also seen people note that it's difficult to use the app unless you're in a room that is quiet. So let's talk about that point because this is something that I experienced. When I was playing along with the app, I noticed at times that I would play the chord in time and I would hit it accurately, but I wasn't given credit by the app. So take a look at this. So I'm playing the first game and you really gotta hit it super hard for it to recognize the chord over the music. Because if I play normal, like I would if I was to really play long, it doesn't pick up any of this stuff. But if I over-exaggerate it, now I believe this issue is due to the fact that the device is playing the music from the app through the speakers while simultaneously using the microphone in the device to listen to your playing. So it becomes a bit of a conflict because it's pushing out music, but it's also trying to listen to music at the same time. So sometimes it fails to recognize that you hit that chord in time at the correct spot, or you hit the correct chord, you hit it in time, and it doesn't give you credit. What it ends up doing is making it a bit frustrating as you're playing through the game or you're playing along with the performance song. So let's answer the title of this video. Is this ukulele a novelty or is it the future? I don't believe it's a novelty, but I also do not believe it's the future quite yet. What I do think it is, is a step in the right direction for an alternative way for learning. As a private lessons instructor with 11 years of teaching experience, teaching every age from five to 75, I want to bring up a interesting point. When I would walk into the studio to teach for the full day, almost all the time I would walk past tons of students that were sitting on their iPad or their iPhone playing games. You know, only a handful of them had their instrument pulled out and were actually practicing while they were waiting to take their lesson. So here we have Poppy Lely who doesn't go against the grain. They go with the flow of what kids are doing, which is getting on the devices. And they've created a way to connect the device with a gaming platform to the instrument, which is very, very cool. So I'm all for that. And overall, I want to say that I believe Poppy Lely has done a tremendous job so far. I know I've been a bit critical in certain aspects of it, but I hope that this feedback helps Poppy Lely improve upon their product because I really think it's a great idea and it has a lot of potential. For example, if they decide to move past only beginner focused lessons because right now if you purchase the popularity it's very 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 beginner oriented it's like the tip of the iceberg in learning to play the ukulele but there's so much potential here with this learning platform for example they can easily use this led technology to teach you how to play chords throughout the neck so you can start to learn the notes on the fretboard, you can also start to learn shapes on the fretboard. For example, the caged method. This method allows us to take a basic chord like C and play it in different positions up the neck. So if you're jamming with somebody, both of you don't want to play the same version of C. Maybe one of you wants to play it somewhere up here on the neck. So the populately could easily light up and show you, hey, there's a C chord right here, or hey, there's also a C chord right here. So this technology could easily teach you more specifically for intermediates and advanced players. So I'm hoping to see something like that come into their lesson platform in the future. So I wanna end this review by giving you guys a recommendation for who I think this ukulele would be great for. So if you are over the age of 12, I would skip this ukulele. If you're younger than 12, and you are an absolute beginner, that's key. If you've never played before, then I would consider this ukulele because I do think it is a really 
unique way for learning. But keep in mind that at $159, that is a hard pill to swallow because there are excellent ukuleles on the market for $50, such as the Makala MKS. So that's one thing that you want to keep in mind. You have to go into this knowing that you're paying for the technology and the app. So that's what I got for you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you dig this ukulele? Do you not dig it? Let me know what you think. Also, don't forget that you have a chance to win this ukulele if you're watching this video in March of 2018. So again, I'll put a link for more details on that in the description box below. And last but not least, there is a written article that summarizes everything that we've talked about for this review. So if you want to dive a little bit more into it and recap, check out that link right there. And last but not least, if you're new to rockclass101.com, please consider subscribing and check out our channel. We have a ton of ukulele lessons and we are a community of enthusiasts that are passionate about learning to play, specifically playing at a higher level. All right, guys, I hope this review was useful to you, and I will see you in the next one or the next lesson. Thanks.